This is not how to start the day. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and guys I am so freaking pumped. I am so excited. We are finally taking the 850 out for a rip and we are going to Outback ATV Park in Lawrenceburg, sorry, North Carolina. I'm super duper excited guys because um, I just I haven't, you know I've ridden it around the house and stuff like that but I haven't officially taken it out on the trails. And I'm excited, you know, it's got the 29 and a half inch Outlaws. Link in the description if you have not seen that video, like that video, like this video. Let's try to get to 2,000 likes, guys. We have the hand guards on it, and this thing is looking like a freaking absolute beast. Killer, Mean Green, that's his name. There's a couple of us going, a couple buddies. I'm um, actually going to drive with a guy that he's going with a Renegade on 29 and a half inch Outlaws too. So that'll be a good video, guys. And... I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because I don't, I don't have snorkels, so that kind of sucks because I'm going to have to, you know, kind of go and, uh, and avoid the super duper deep stuff. So I'm just waiting for my buddy Joel to get here so he can, uh, I'm actually riding with him and I'll show you guys the Can-Am when he gets here because it's, 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 pretty, it's a pretty dope machine, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So uh, pick you guys up whenever he gets here and we should be getting somewhere, so let's do it. Like I said, here's my buddy Joel with his Renegade 850, 29 and a half inch at loss. So that should be a good comparison, except he's snorkeled already. So uh, he's gonna be going a lot more deeper than I am. My buddy right here, and he's got an 850, and he's got um, he's got every, this thing set up right. Like I said, 29 and a half inch Outlaws as well, and it's a 2020 model. He actually just got the the rad put on, and actually looks it looks just like I think it's the XMR one, but it looks super duper clean. And man, I'm excited. I'm pumped, guys. I haven't ridden in such a long time. And uh, hopefully, the sportsman, uh, she holds on tight today. But it's gonna be fun, you guys. And I'm gonna skip them some cinematics, and you guys enjoy. guys finally after an hour and a half made it out back uh we're gonna go inside i hope it's not too packed hope there's not too many people uh we're gonna go inside and unload all the toys we got we got all the guys with us we got here safe and uh i'm gonna pick you guys up whenever we get on the gopro cam and uh let's see if we can uh have fun and let's see what the 850s got all right boys everybody's ready we got one two three four we got five units out we have three can-ams two Claris units and I'm excited, man. I haven't been to Outback in a while. It's been a hot minute since I came back here. But uh, last time I was here, yeah, I had the 570 and it was snorkeled. Now we're on the 850 with no snorkel. So uh, I'm a little nervous, guys, but uh, we're going to see how it does. And hopefully it's not too bad and we don't sink it. So let's ride. <laughs> We're up in the Fincher waders. I don't know if you guys can tell, tell or not, but we got the Fincher waders. We're gonna start on one side of the park and uh, make ourselves to the other side. I am so freaking excited to be on the 850. Like I said, I hadn't ridden in such a long time. And I finally get to be out. And we literally came to like the worst park ever to, if you don't have any snorkels, cause it's deep, I'll tell you what. They literally got a, a lake all the way in the back of the park that's just, it's like super duper deep and I can't get in it but you know we're gonna go to it and either way you know see if some of the other guys that have snorkels and stuff want to get in. Bro. 
Well, uh, this is not how to start the day. Ah. into the air intake but a ton of it got into the belt box jesus all right boys could it have it been a definite no-no coming without snorkels the deepest park there is or one of the deepest yeah probably tell no i don't think it's deep Seventy six so wide with those new wheels and tires. Like almost too wide. It doesn't even have spacious on it. Alright, I know this for sure is uh only like knee deep, so I'm not too worried about this right here. I wonder if this thing will water really easily. Here goes old Renegade. Ripping it, old son. There we go. The Audi. Oh, you what? What happened? What happened to you? It took off. Is the exhaust out? Not really. Alright, we're about a full set in this, boys. Ripping through it like nothing, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, 50, I love you. Oh, boys, good first trail, man. <laughs> Scary stuff, man. Honestly, guys. Like I said, I honestly don't think I'm gonna come back 
unless I have snorkels because I mean I, I hit the first hole and I, I literally almost drowned this thing with you guys uh i don't remember where any other, other trails are i feel like we already did them all i mean we, we i know we did it there's a whole bunch but i just i can't remember where they're at i can't remember this, this place that great everybody having fun to see everybody go through the deep stuff i want to go through deep stuff oh come on bro how are you gonna get stuck my guy that 570 stays getting stuck bro poor guy he really he really needs some tires on that thing Seriously, can't remember. joints engaging or disengaging in it. Alright. I think I think it's too deep for me, but they say hit it. You'll be fine. Alright, fine. I'll hit it. Why not? 